Well, plenty going on in the FX space right now to get a view of what's caught his eye. We're joined back on the program by Lachlan Meekin from Go Markets. Lachlan, good to see you. It's been a while between drinks. Plenty yeah, Dave, how are you, mate? Good, thank you, mate. There's been plenty going on. Where do you want to go and start? Uh, can we go and kick off with the euro? Because it's getting a lot of global attention at the moment. Uh, geopolitical risks, of course, you know, are one factor, but uh, that euro versus the dollar, very, very near parity now. Uh, I, I think it's just a matter of uh, when, not if, it gets under parity, David. I mean, um, those big figures are, are very psychological levels, and you quite often see the FX mark drawn to them to, to test the central banks underneath. So... Um, I'd, I'd suggest it probably maybe hang on today, but with that CPI figure tomorrow night from the US, um, very, very big chance we'll see parity and under. Um, and there'll be a lot of volatility, no doubt about it, once it hits that level. It's, um, there'll be a lot of options, the strike price there. I think that, and you saw something similar, I guess, with the, the US dollar, the Swiss franc, when it hit parity not long ago. It, um, the volatility at that stage was, was pretty big. I'd expect the same from the euro once it gets through. Um, Looking at the the spread between the the rates um, euro and US, we kind of the the story is we might see a bottom out around ninety eight, um, but yeah, expect a bit of a wild ride when it goes through. I think Aussie dollar has been under the cosh as well at the moment. Uh, of course, no threatening to bust through sixty seven US cents. Not a lot of technical support on the charts because of course that big drawdown at the start of the pandemic uh, no didn't really offer much in the way either side. So where, yeah. does the Aussie, where does the Aussie move from here? Because um, we're getting all these concerns re-emerge about China again. Is that the thing to keep an eye on? Yeah, definitely. The, the risk to the downside with the Aussie, I think. We've seen um, commodities come off a bit. The China story's a, a bit up in the air. Um, also very risk-sensitive currencies. So as we see, the, the equity markets struggle a bit. Um, I think that'll be the main driver as well. And... You, you know, the the you look at the what's priced in for the ASX, sorry, the RBA rate rises by the end of the year, and it's up over three percent. So, if the RBA falls behind that um, kind of priced in expectation, I would, I would suggest the Aussie dollar is going to struggle a bit, and we could see it, you know, flatlining here or even heading down a little bit. Okay, so more downside maybe in the near term for the Aussie coming through. Uh, you mentioned uh, what's going on with the, uh, the DXY. We know that the big uh, component in that is the year. I think it's like fifty-seven yeah. percent or so of the index. Everyone seems bullish on it because it's got that dollar smile aspect to it. Now, this time we've got lots of risk aversion coming through at the moment. At what point does it just get saturated that everyone seems to be positioned the same way? Are we getting anywhere closer to that kind of point? Oh, you've got to be thinking of this move on the US dollar is getting a bit old. I mean, um, they've got the double whammy, haven't they? They've got the, the um, flight to safe if the market goes down. And if the market goes up, there's more chance of the Fed raising rates harder. So... Um, all fundamentals are on the US dollar side, but I mean, you look at the 10 years, they've, you think they might have peaked at around that three and a half last month. They're, they're kind of struggling back up there. So I think the US dollar has got a little bit more to go, but um, yeah, you suggest it's, it's getting a bit long in the tooth this move and you, we more likely have a little turnaround uh, after a little bit more of an upside, I think. Here we, we have the RBNZ out tomorrow. Uh, a lot of eyes on that. We've seen that, that that bank has been well ahead of the curve compared to other central banks. Does yeah. that mean it's going to be a lot of volatility around this particular event? Uh, I don't think so, mate. There's 50%, uh, sorry, 50 basis points is pretty much a, a certainty. That's what's priced in. Um, probably more risk to downside for the Kiwi dollar going forward as well. Even though the, the bank's been quite aggressive, the um, the economic look, uh, outlook's not looking great over there at the moment. The house market, I think, is coming off a bit. So there's more of a chance, I think, that the RBNZ will pull back from the hawkishness uh, in the coming months. So I'd suggest that the Kiwi dollar, the Aussie dollar, has got more downside risk from here than, um, than upside. 